Todd Graffinini, John DeShays are with you here in Oklahoma City. It is NBA playoff time, New Orleans, and this is our game preview brought to you by Ibotta. JD, it's just great to be here, first of all. It's been such a grind the last month, month and a half for this Pelicans team just to get into the playoffs. Now that they're in it, I'm not going to say is it kind of a relaxing type of deal because it's been such a grind. Now you're ready to play, and you know it's a four out of seven. You've been playing playoff games essentially for about a month and a half, so the tension has been high. And I don't want to say it's died down, but the team does appear to be having a little bit of fun. They yeah. seem to be loose. Uh, this is the best road team in the NBA, 28 and 14 during the regular season, and has the opportunity, going back to the regular season, to win a seventh consecutive road game. So this team has been markedly better on the road, and I think they actually prefer to start this series on the road. You know, it's incredible because we're playing an Oklahoma City team that was the top seed in the Western Conference, an unbelievably difficult Western Conference. Yet, the Pelicans have more playoff experience than the Thunder do. If you talk about going back the last couple of years, of course, these Pels played the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs. So, can you draw anything from that experience? Yeah, because you've been in the crucible of it. That was a really difficult atmosphere on the road against Phoenix, and the Pelicans were able to win a game in Phoenix. And this is going to be even more so because Oklahoma City, we know it is really raucous here for the playoffs, and the Pels are going to have to concentrate through that. That experience helps because you've got players who've been in the crucible before. Interesting, the season series, 2-1 in favor of Oklahoma City. The road team won all three games, so hopefully that trend will continue here tonight. When you start with Oklahoma City, though, J.D., it's Shea Gilgis Alexander, who if Nikola Jokic uh, wasn't really the best player in the league, he would probably win the MVP. It starts there, but I think the key tonight is you got to stop the other guys. You go back to the last home game in New Orleans that the Thunder were able to win in that final homestand. It was Josh Giddey's 25 points. That really was the key to that game. Josh Giddy, unfortunately, is one of those guys who slips on the Superman cape when he plays the, the Pelicans. Yep. And he's the guy that you've got to take care of, as Graf just said, in this game. He, Chet Holmgren, those are the guys you have to take care of, the peripheral people, because you understand exactly what Shea Gil Gilgis Alexander is going to give them. You ex expect that, you mark it down, but it's the peripheral guys that you've got to be able to slow down, including Josh Giddy. He cannot run rampant as he did in the Smoothie King Center. What do the Pels need to do here in game one to get a road W? Gonna have to rebound. Obviously, you gotta take care of the ball all the time, especially on the road, but you gotta rebound, and especially I think this is a team that the Pelicans can beat some on the offensive glass. Second chance points will be huge in this one. Uh, hopefully, Jonas Valanciunas will be have one of those games. He's just coming off a double-double in the play-in, and hopefully he'll have another one of those type games because he obviously has the size I think you kind of need him on the court against Chet Kongren because he can bully him around a little bit weight-wise. So you have him on the floor. But I think rebounding, especially offensive rebounding, could be key for the Pelicans in this one. All right, that's our game preview. Game one of the playoffs starts tonight, 8.30 p.m. You can watch it on Valley Sports New Orleans and nationally on TNT. And, of course, you can listen to myself and John DeShazer on our flagship back home, 99.5 FM, WRNO, and the Pelicans app. This game preview brought to you by Ibotta. Get ready, New Orleans. It's playoff time. We'll see you tonight.